This is Munich on the day of the D-Day celebrations, the day before Germany versus England. A number of England fans were arrested in Munich and our cameras were there to see the disorder. The day before the Nations League game, with some fans drinking for more than 14 hours, there was significant anti-social behaviour. So he's been arrested for doing the hit the salute and um, swearing at the police. Welcome everybody to the Operation Plankton planning meeting, which is Germany versus England. The UK Football Policing Unit allowed our cameras unprecedented access to the whole operation. Officials feared this game might see the worst trouble involving England fans abroad for four years. They hoped that could be avoided with clever tactical policing and good intelligence. Officers are prepared for the worst, knowing this is England's biggest away game since the Netherlands in 2018, when there were 114 arrests. Again, no early intervention from local police, which is what the spotters are there really to try and get that across to the, to the locals. Across all major UK airports, police spotter teams were stationed to stop known troublemakers from boarding planes for Munich. At Heathrow alone, 65 flights were monitored the day before the game. These fans pose no problems. They're official England supporter club members. But there are currently 1,120 football banning orders in place in England. They didn't stop some with plans for violence trying to get to Germany. Over at T5, um, we've just stopped an individual who's tried to get through the search regime with a knife. Um, so he's been arrested for possession of a bladed article. Um, he's in custody. He is known to us. He's a risk supporter. The UK police officers already in Munich are in plain clothes. Theirs is an advisory role to the German police. They have no jurisdiction, no powers of arrest. We've, we've missed the early engagement, early intervention. We've already had a few plastic bottles being thrown up in the air and a couple of chairs being lifted up. So at the minute, our worry is that this, this behaviour is going to escalate. And this is only quarter six. Sky Sports News has decided not to broadcast the audio of some England fans singing offensive anti-German songs. But the references to World War II are so regular and repetitive, we've had to replace the sound on most of these pictures. Just walk off, just walk off. Suddenly, the scene turns hostile. Come on, come on, come on. A single German supporter confronts the England fans. They turn en masse in response. Yeah, yeah. Tried to advise him, but... One lays an England flag on the floor in front of the German riot police as they form a physical barrier to keep the fans back. Yeah. Pal, you all right? Good, pal, how are you? Good. English cop, you all right? Yeah, I'm good, but yeah. We don't want to give the cops oh, any, course, any, yeah, re yeah. any reason. I'm on your side here. Yeah, yeah, I know. At least you're honest, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, no, pal. Not sure, Thanks, pal. All right. Right. Luck or good judgment, we managed to defuse it quite quickly by uh, myself and Adam getting in between the two groups and talking to them. As night falls, the crowd becomes more unpredictable. Two bottles were thrown. Um, swift intervention um, was witnessed by most of us by the, uh, the German police. So the German riot police have moved in and they've decided to move a group of England supporters away out of the main market square. No batons or any force shoes, um, just a, what we call a, a closed cordon, walking them away from the area, um, disperse them. No arrests the, No arrests made at the minute, no. Quite good tactics they've been using today when there's been issues at the pub. Those police tactics quickly became more robust as the disorder escalates. So he's been arrested for doing the hit the salute and um, swearing at the police. This fan is strip-searched in a shop doorway, but then released after nothing is found. So we've just seen three arrests there in quick succession. One of them, the police tell us, was for an England fan that did a Nazi salute. We're not sure what the other two did, but again, the riot police have moved in and they've taken the England fans away. Shortly after midnight, all the bars are closed and the city is calm. There have been eight arrests in total. Match day in Munich is largely quiet. There are a handful of arrests when smoke bombs are let off in a courtyard just off the main marketplace, Marienplatz, but there's no serious disorder. The Munich Underground takes fans directly to the Allianz Arena. 
The game isn't quite a sellout, so the German authorities are comfortable with allowing England supporters to buy tickets in the home end. After the chaos and the complaints of the Champions League final at the Stade de France last month, this next big away day for English fans has been held as a real success. The UK police will tell you that the German authorities are amongst the best in Europe at organising big football matches. The alcohol ban inside the stadium means at least a two and a half hour window where fans haven't been able to get a drink. The tactic works. By the time supporters return to the city centre, it's gone midnight and the bars are already closed. Night falls in Marienplatz. Almost 4,000 England fans have behaved impeccably. A few hundred have caused problems, but the UK Football Policing Unit calls it a hugely successful operation. There have been 13 arrests in total over the two days. That's less than 10% of what senior officers had feared in their worst case scenario. Rob Dorset, Sky Sports, Munich.